What is up, guys? This is Dan Gaffster, and today I'm here with Jared Thompson. How you doing? And Dean McLavin. Aye, aye. Today, we are spectating a sport where worms blow the crap out of each other. That's right. And our teams today are Zach, the Crazies, and the home team, Cracker. That is right. We've got three teams on an island ready to battle it out, and I can tell you, it's somewhat of a pirate's island. We've got hooks, rubies, palm trees, and pirate flags with skull and bones on them. Skull and bones, really? Yar, matey! <laughs> I believe it is starting, so we're going to go to the match feed now. Up first, we've got Elliot, who's ready to do some damage. Oh! oh but he cuts it up short! Awful. He cuts it yeah, up short! Yeah, he could have moved, but he didn't, and it cost him, and Indeed. now he's only got one shot left. Oh. He's wasted it! I Honestly, Waste. he should have gone for Squiggly. Yeah. I don't understand why he didn't. And, yeah. you know, he's pretty much started this match off slowly. You yeah. know, he's got to set the pace. Yeah. He's got yeah. to set the pace. Exactly. He's got to do better. He needs to set an example. The worm who goes first has what? to show them how it's done. And that was a poor start. Uh, uh, oh, oh, that's no that good. That wasn't much better. He could have done much better with that throw and yes, eight damage at the start. They gotta do better. I agree. This really is off to a slow start here, but maybe the home team can bring it back. Problem is for him, he hasn't got a good starting position down there. There's nothing there, so he's got to make a decision. Looks like he's going for Worm Select. Yeah, but who they pick is anyone's guess. I've got a feeling it'll be Sailor Jim. And it yeah, is. That is a good call. Sailor Jim's in a pretty good position here, but anything could go wrong. Yeah. He could go for the three on the right, but it looks like he's going to the no, left. Oh, this could be interesting. You would assume that he's going to go for the three on the right, because that's more targets, but it looks like he's going to go yeah, for Wallop. Wallop could be in trouble oh, here. Hey, but what is he going to do to him? He's right dead center of the level. There's no way he's going to knock him off the no. edge. And he's standing he's, there he's with Broadway. What is he Eight doing? Eight seconds he's, left. Oh, he looks like he's going to try and knock him with a baseball bat. I don't think he's going to get him off the edge, though. No, no, he's not, not quite. Done it. I knew he wouldn't. He could have tried maybe knocking him the other way. I mean, he was dead center there. It was a bad choice. He would have had better chances if he put a stick of dynamite next to him. That's just my guess. Would have knocked him miles off the Yeah, edge. I think he made a bad decision with going with a baseball bat. Yeah. Let's see what Weeble does. I don't think he's going to do anything. He's in nowhere. Yeah. No, he's, he's just fighting a rocket yeah. at the wall. He had no targets down there. He wasn't no. getting out unless he uses teleport. And we all know that only the home team ever uses it. Yeah, well, unless they're in a crisis or sudden death, then they just start teleporting all willy-nilly. Oh! He's put a mine next to Fizzgard and Jezebel. He should have put a grenade there. Aye. It would have done more damage. It would. I mean, in a situation like that, you know, mines are tactical weapons, and that was just well, He's a... cut himself short there. Exactly. Well, again, one could argue if he had used a stick of dynamite there, he could have got them both. Taking them both out, yeah. Ed Crash is having a bit of a think now. What's he doing? Look at him. He doesn't know what he's doing. Well, he's doing something. He's getting the grenade out. Is he going to try and throw it up at Hawking? He might be able to blow that fire canister. Attack! Oh, oh no. No. Just, just a little didn't bit make, too yeah. far there. Didn't make the cut. Just wasn't no. enough. And Crash has never been the strongest oh, thrower, but he's getting team. better. Yeah. He's getting closer to his target. Jezebel brainstorming up a scheme here. Handgun? Oh, oh, but it's, come it's a on. dud. What? I mean, what what is that? I what? don't understand that. <laughs> what motivates a worm to do he that? He could have fired a rocket up there or, yeah. you know, used a grenade, and he's, he's really pissed yeah, off. Yeah, it's not a strong day for Team Zack. Well, let's see how Bungle does for the crazies. His teammate's right there. He's going to have to throw something. The crazies are good throwers. But is it enough? Oh, oh, oh. wait a minute. Oh, he's oh, miscalculated. He doesn't make no. the cut. Hawking was lucky there. Yeah, he he could he almost got him, and it was a pretty good throw. It just didn't quite get there. Hawking probably taking a little sigh of relief there, seeing the grenade blow up next to him, and he's just shy of the damage radius. Well, looks like Cracker is gonna have a go this time. One might say he's gonna have a crack at it, <laughs> but is it gonna pay off? Is it? He's going for the ninja rope, but will he make it? Oh, oh dear. no! He's, he's going straight, the straight down into the, into the drink. drink. <laughs> oh. oh man! Down goes Cracker. Absolutely, that was a bad move there. It was quite a risky strategy to begin with, and he almost pulled it off, but then he died. <laughs> <laughs> he just died. <laughs> oh man! Oh, you are harsh, Dean. Here we go. Is it gonna hit? Is it? Oh, oh, nice right shot! In the face, right in the He most likely used the wind to his advantage there, and it paid off. Yeah, I agree. That was a really good shot. Really using the wind to his advantage there. Squiggly gonna go for a grenade throw. Where is it gonna go though? Oh, oh, this could be oh, oh, oh my goodness! Oh, is, this, is it gonna be a dud though? Is it? 
Oh, oh, oh! oh it is. Oh, it's a dud. Oh, oh, really, really getting off easy there. Head crash with four Most damage. Definitely. Oh man! Oh, wow. Fizzgard now the team favorite. They do love Fizzgard. Looks like he's gonna go for some dynamite for, with Jezebel what there. What's he doing? <laughs> he had to think about that for a second. Here, Here comes the go. king. Oh, he's caught the bottle oh. of fire. Is it gonna kill him though? That's the question. Yeah, absolutely. That with the damage and the fire could knock it off, oh, and it man. just does at 73 damage. Exactly enough to kill that him. That was a good strategy. Finally, somebody uses their head and decides dynamite is the way yeah, to go. Yeah, it's about time somebody used a stick of dynamite. Watch this. Oh, he's gone for the high uh, throw. Uh, Is he going to pee off? Yes, that was a well-aimed shot. shot there. It was a well-aimed throw, but you could say he threw it a little bit too high. It was a tad extravagant, but nonetheless, a good shot. He, he was showing off a little bit. Attack! Oh, oh nice. good shot there from Stench. Nicely angled. It's always a little risky firing a bazooka from that close, but he did it well. Oh, aye. Let's see if Sailor Jim can get the revenge on Stench, though. Watch this. Oh, oh, but the leaf dice. on the palm tree gets in the way. Yeah, he, he could have got full damage. I mean, technically, he's still got him, but 24 damage is no more than what a shotgun would do. And a bazooka can do twice as much. It might have worked out a little better if he tried to toss a grenade through the gap. Yeah, I could have hit him for more damage. How is Weeble going to get out of this? I mean, he's just firing shots at the walls because he's trapped. I mean, I think a tactical teleport out of there wouldn't have been such a bad but idea. But at the yeah. same time, he's also safe in there. Yes. And true. if he leaves, he's going to expose himself. Yeah, that is a good point. Now Wallop is ready to dish it out. Good shot there from Wallop. Nicely done. It seems that a lot of the worms today and all the teams are doing quite well with using the wind to aid them. Oh, yeah, most definitely. Oh, hey, oh. double turn time for Cracker. Yeah. But what is he going to do with that time? He's got to he's got to use it wisely. Yeah, it's vital that he doesn't squander that because it's a rare, it's a good fight. Oh, he's going to go for the ninja rope. It's a good strategy to go for a ninja roping when you've got a oh, double time. Oh, banana oh. bomb. This may get interesting. Oh, yes. If he uses the banana bomb, this could draw things back in Cracker's favor. It could, yeah. but at the same time, he could really screw things up mm -hmm. because, as everyone knows, bananas are unpredictable. unpredictable. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, this could go either way for him. Watch this. Help! Oh, oh, no. Oh, 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 he's got hit by one of the bananas and knocks him back oh, down. Oh, dear, but he did get a nice bit of damage on Squiggly and Elliot. He even nicked Bungie. They are breathing. They're definitely oh, no. wounded. Oh, my. 80 damage. He did Plus. well there, but at the same time, he shouldn't have taken damage himself. Yeah. And if he got the banana right next to them, could have yeah, killed them both. Yeah, he definitely missed out on getting a double kill there, yeah. but he gave us a show, and we love a banana bomb. So, yeah, yeah good stuff. Definitely. you got to love the banana bomb. It's oh, just... I it's one of the crazy weapons in this game, and it's always fun to watch. Here's Hawking. Is he going to attack Jim and head crash, or is he going to go for Stench? Attack. Here it comes. Oh, looks oh. like he's going for Stench. Whoa. Oh, good nice. You know, Team Zark have never been the strongest when it comes to using the wind, no. but they are definitely improving, and in this match, they are really showing it off. Oh, it really is. Nicely done. Here's Bungle now. <laughs> he walks backwards just to jump forwards again. Oh, he's going for the long throw. Oh, that's going nowhere. No. Oh, yeah, but it, look just, at that. it doesn't. I didn't even know what he was doing he with was that. He was probably one. aiming at head cross and Jim, yeah. but he just didn't yes. give that throw enough welly. No. And it came up you short. You know, it's disappointing because in the past, Bungle has shown again and again that he's a good thrower. And. He lets himself down with moments like that. Yeah. Looks like Fizzgod's getting ready to smack Wallop. Is he going to go over the edge, though? Oh, oh he just no. doesn't give it quite enough of the beans to get him to slide off the edge, but no. solid effort. Yeah, it was a nice try. It just didn't quite work out. Yeah. Now, what is Elliot going to do here? Oh, he's gone for the stick of dynamite. He's not going to clear Troy, that explosion yeah, in time. The pace. Boom. No. Oh. Is it going to kill him, though? That's the thing. Definitely oh, killed Squiggly. Oh, wow. just survived that blunder, but he's got a kill on Squiggly, and he is out So here. long, Squiggly. It's nice to see Team Zack making a comeback now. Yeah, it's nice to see them do well. They're usually somewhat the underdog. That's not going to kill him. It's definitely going to stir things up, though. That'll shift them both. 
Here it comes. Oh, well, I guess not. I'm, I was, I'm surprised at that, actually. I thought that was going to shift Sailor Jim a bit more than it did. For what we are about to receive. Now it's time for them to take their revenge, and no doubt they're going to take out Stench. It's got to be Stench. And he's going with the old-fashioned bazooka. Yeah, There's no second safe. guessing that. Stench is gone. Well played, then. I've got to say, Sailor Jim playing it safe. Doing what he knows best. Yeah, nothing fancy. Just a simple bazooka to the head sometimes. Just gets the job done. Now we're back to Weeble. Is he going to do anything? Still stuck down there, but... Airstrike! Oh, air looks like he's going for an airstrike on Bungle! Is it going to kill him, yeah. though? Yeah. Oh, oh, just by the skin just of his teeth. the survival there. Wow. That was fortunate. Going to use the bazooka. Oh, is that going to kill Fizzguard, I though? I really hope not, because Fizzguard is the favorite. He's just awesome. He doesn't always What's perform that? well, but people love him. Head crash, not really sure what to do. What is he doing? He's just jumping around. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Come on, man. There you go. Finally gets up there. Yep. What does he have planned? He's got to do something. I'm sure he will. Well, he's going for a grenade throw. This will be interesting. Setting the timer for four seconds. That's not right. This isn't going to work out. Too oh, close dear, to Fizzguard. Not Fizzguard. No way. That was... Terrible. Yeah. I can yeah. see what he was trying to do. He was trying to get in down there to knock off Wallop, but that was just a terrible yeah. throw. It, it seems like Cracker are really off their game today. Here comes a throw. Oh, no, this could end badly for Sailor Jim. Oh, surely that's no, not enough, No, I don't though. think that's going to yes, kill he's him. He's a sailor. He's tough. Yeah, tell him that when he sinks to the bottom of the drink. Hmm, could be any one of those guys over there. Which one is he going to throw it at? Oh, and it's Elliot! Yeah, there's no coming back from that. 3 HP. And whatever's inside that mystery crate will never know because it is now up in flames. Seems a bit of a waste, to be honest. True, but what are you going to do? Bungle insisting that it's personal there, and he is definitely screwed now because he has open passage for Weeble to shoot at him. Yes, that is true. He has opened up passage, and now Weeble... Definitely has room to wobble. And here okay. comes Fizzguard with a bazooka. Oh, oh yes. That. And Crash Bang Wallop is gone. Down goes Wallop. Team Cracker now bringing it down even further. Oh, aye. The crazies are down to their last worm. And I don't think Bungie's going to make it past this. Bungle. Weeble's going to wobble. And Bungie is going to get shot. And there it is. That is the end of Bungie. And His that name is, is the Bungle. end of the crazies. Of course, that really oh, puts the pressure Sorry, on him. Bungie. What, what are you? What? What? He called him Bungie when his name's oh, Bungle. I'm sorry, and I had a bit of a brain <laughs> malfunction for a second. Anyway, now it's Team Cracker. Yes, indeed, and they are hanging on by a thread, and Team Zack is going pretty strong with Weeble on 100 and Hawking on 77. Yeah, Cracker might have more worms left, but their strongest worm right now is Sailor Jim, and he's only got 16 health. They better come up with a good strategy if they're going to beat Team Zack now, because they is looking bleak for Cracker at the moment. Bleak indeed. What the hell is Jim doing? Is he trying to get over that palm yeah, tree? that's what it looks like. It doesn't appear that he's that great with the ninja rope, though. He's going all over the place. There oh, he there goes. There you go. There you Finally. go. Finally. It's all well and good that he's done it, but he's only got a wee bit of time left before the clock goes down and he gives the other team a chance to end yeah. it. Yeah. Whoa, oh, this could get interesting. Oh, oh, oh. He's using a holy hand grenade. And Sailor Jim is determined to get a one-hit kill oh, to even yes. things out, and he's got it right next to him. Oh, oh, yes. That's it for oh, Weeble. Man. Set him flying into, into the, the drink. drink. <laughs> oh, man. Turns out Weeble swims like a Brit. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed. It was, in fact, Weeble's last wobble. And what a wobble it was. <laughs> oh, dear. That's not looking good for Head Crash. Oh, but did it kill him? Oh, and that's yes. the end of him. Damn. Down to two for Cracker. Of course, even though their HP is very low, it's still two against one. The question is, is he going to make the jumps necessary to get a shot in at Fizzguard? Bring it down to a one-on-one. -on -one. Something tells me he's going to shoot the tree where Jim is. Yeah, yeah there he there goes. He's wasted a shot. It seems that Cracker has hope yet. Although you're still left to wonder what Cracker has up their sleeve Aye. to get yes, rid of Hawking before he gets rid of them. If anybody's going to come up with something, it's Fizzguard. He is the favorite, and hes I think he's going to pull through. It's anyone's guess. I'm going to go down the other route and say that Fizzguard is going to try too hard 
and most likely piss it okay, up. Okay, you want to you wanna elaborate on that? Tell us what you think he's going to yeah, do? I think he's going to try to do what Jim did to Weeble. Oh. Except he can't do it anymore because they haven't got a weapon like the Holy Hand Grenade left. That was the team's special weapon, and there's only one of them. That is very true. I'm still hoping that he makes it, but given Fizzguard's history, one of the reasons why people love him, you could be right. Oh, oh, you see, no, I told I you. Think he's, he's right. He's going for the going sheep, for the sheep oh, and it just no. didn't jump the distance. Damn it, Fizzgar. It's been see, wasted. The problem is he's just left himself wide open to get shot by Hawking. And if he uses a shotgun, there's the possibility that he's just pissed it up for the whole team and they're both going to die. It does look like he's going to use the shotgun. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, oh, it's Sailor no. Jim that's gone down. I oh, can't no. believe it. Sailor Jim! Sailor or not, I told you he couldn't swim. Oh, would you come on? I think it's all over They've now. They've lost it now. There's no way he's going to miss. What is he doing? What? what? Oh, you go, he he just this. missed the opportunity to win the game. What How stupid. stupid idiot. Never in all my years have I seen such a bad decision. Yes, I second and that. And that decision may well cost him the game. Absolutely. This all rests now on whether or not Fizzguard makes another mistake. I think the question is, is Fizzguard going to make up for past mistakes and pull out a win from this? Exactly. And he's certainly been given the opportunity. And he's taken it. Teleporting to safety. That is what you call a tactical teleport. Indeed it was, and honestly, he couldn't have made a better move there. Although he's not going to be safe under there for long if he keeps taking grenades like that. Yeah, he's not going to last long under there. He's got to play it smart. There oh, go. yes. Good choice. Playing it safe with the airstrike. Although that isn't going to kill him, that is definitely going to bring him down to his level. And the damage is... Down to 20 health points. It's anyone's game now. The problem for Hawking is going to be that structure over Fizzguard's head. Oh, it I... will take more than one grenade. And definitely. we're going to see that now. Yeah, there you go. Uh, no, it, it that's going to take several more hits before he even breaks that open. Unfortunately, the thing is, Fizzguard has a problem as well. He's stuck in there, and he's only got one more airstrike left, and that's the napalm. Yes. That's right, and the problem with that is the rockets won't get down low enough to hit him, and if he doesn't get caught by the fire for long enough, he could still be in the game. Oh. No, no, no that that's not going to do it. That's not enough. It might bring him down to the single digits, but that's not going to end him. It'll come mighty close, though. Yeah, look at that. 8 HP. Wow, this this is getting close now, We're though. We're definitely in the last few turns of the game now. Who's a betting he throws another grenade? He's thinking about it. It doesn't matter if he does. He's not getting to Fizzguard like that, and he knows it. Yeah. Here it comes. Ooh. He's really not making any headway, is he? He's burrowing further into the side rather than down towards Fizzguard. Fizzguard is venturing out. He's not going to get through that hole. If he wants to get over there, he's going to have to go back the other way, and he doesn't have time to get in range of Hawking before the time runs out and leaves him open. Oh, look at that. He's using oh, the jetpack. now he's finally using his hand. But unfortunately, it's not going to carry him all the way but over. But it does give him more of an opportunity to get closer to Hawking. Yes. Right. Whoa, it looks like he's trying to go for the blowtorch. I don't think the range of the blowtorch will go all the way through and burn Hawking enough to take him down, though. No. He's going to have to think carefully about this. He's in a bind because he wants to get closer, but he doesn't want to give Hawking the opportunity to make a hole and then shoot through it with the shotgun. Ah, oh, look at, look that. at that. He's going down instead. Not a bad idea. I think he's trying to play it safe there, and it might just work. This could pay off here, because if Hawking stays down in that ditch, he can't use large explosives that would kill Fizzguard, because he runs the risk of killing himself. Although that bazooka might bring it mighty close. No, I don't think that's going to kill him. Maybe one or two hit points maximum. Yeah, oh, there you go. Only you. one damage. Fizzguard can do this. Fizzguard has got to play it really smart Indeed. here. He can't get away with that again. No. Unless he burrows further into the mountain, which is just going to draw this game uh, out even longer. Yeah, and he doesn't want to do that. What's he got up his sleeve now? He's going to try and make a passage with the shotgun. Oh, oh look at that! Is. He's it's a cakewalk for him now. All he's got to do now is go in there and point it at Hawking's face and pull the trigger. I think it's safe to say Fizzguard has pulled a win here, folks. Aye, there's nothing he can do to wreck this now. He has won it. 
And I'm there you have it. It's That's all it. over. The last shot of the game, and Fizzgard has pulled a win. Let's see that again. You gotta love Fizzgard. He makes mistakes, but he makes up for them. Indeed. Unlike Hawking, whose mistake came and bit him right in the ass. That's right. Hard. Cost him the game, and there's no excuse for that. No excuses he at all. He really fumbled it big time. I'm in the favor of Team Cracker. That's right, folks. Today's winner is Team Cracker. Fizzgard is the worm of the match for pulling out a win. I want to thank my co-hosts, Jared Thompson. Glad to be here. And Dean McLavin. It's been a pleasure. And of course, I'm Dan Gavster. And thanks for watching. <laughs>